Yeah. Got it. What happens when this person, person number one, met person number two? Was it triangular? <laughs> Possibly. Ooh. He saw it and he went, aha, gravity. No, that's the wrong person. Definitely the wrong. <laughs> What's half a thousand years? A long time. Three Dogs TV where we Good play evening. a silly game. I'm Paul. He's Greg. He's mm-hmm. oh. Tonight's game is what, what have we got a title for it? Have Alternative we? histories. Alternative histories. Oh, mm. I thought I thought Earth it was like something like history hookups. There you go. History hookups. History better than mine. Maybe. Ignore what I said. That was rubbish. Well, That's my fault. Start again. History hookups. Hello. Oh, so yeah. Do I start? All oh, yeah. right. I went right, too so far back. You get the gist. What we do is we pick a piece of paper. No. Out no, of the box. no. 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 It's not just paper. It's no, no. stuff. Stuff. Okay, There's we pick. No point picking out a piece of paper. We pick a piece of paper with writing on it. Correct paper. And it has a person from history on it. Now we, uh, having probably zero knowledge of this person, or if we do have knowledge, we have to interpret our line on what we think they did or stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. Go on. Is that it? Uh, I think so. So. You pick out one, yeah, and he becomes the main person. That's, that's, the, main that's the main character. Right. What did he then, do in history? Then you pick out Jeez. another one, mm-hmm. and what we have to do is what, hap- what happens when this person, person number one, met person number two, and how and it affected, how it affected globally. the world we live in today because they met. Yeah, you'll get it once we get going. Yeah, will we? I'm, I'm lost. <laughs> so I. Shall I go? Oh, what's happening? Yep. So I'm, I'm first then. Delve deep into the redness of the box. history. I have one. The I redness have one. of history. Have, have I show you these? Have I, have no, no, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. Doesn't you keep, really keep it to yourself. Well, you're going to tell us who it is anyway. Interesting. Yes, right, so you need a second. I, have I say who it is then? When, no, no, because no, that's the, the, once you get the story going, just pick a second. And I don't pick the second one. You pick, do, yeah, you need to pick a hook up with somebody. see, right, OK. There you go, that's your one. Right, right, put that out of the way. Oh, for the love of heaven. There you go. Right. Okay, this should be entertaining. <laughs> Want to have a look? Steam on. No, no. Okay. So, Paul, tell us a story. Tell us this story. I'll tell you a story. Now, this goes back way, way, way to the beginning of philosophy and, and mathematics and history in general. And the man I'm talking of is... Pythagoras. Or boy. <laughs> Pythagoras. Pythagoras. Pythagoras, if you don't you like know how to call it. Yes. yes, but he was a splendid fellow. Good old Pythy. He, he, he had a white beard, I think, and a hat. And maybe a hat. A hat. What do you mean? Was it? Well, it was sunny. Was it triangular? <laughs> Possibly. Ooh. Because it fell off. There. Fell off, and that's where he got his theorem. <laughs> oh <my laughs> it fell off, fell on the back. It's history, not ours. Yes. He was alive a long time ago. Before the baby Jesus, which uh, quite a while before the baby Jesus. Was it? Yes, a long while. Months? Weeks? Years, years. <laughs> half, 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 half. What's, 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 what's half a thousand years? A long time. What's that? What's what? the proper name for a thousand years? I don't know. Millennium. Half a millennium. A millennium. Half a millennium. Half, a <laughs> half, half of helium. <laughs> half a helium I mean, before uh, half the baby of Jesus. Half and anyway, he was a splendid fella. He, he liked bananas, Ooh. and um, he used to he used to climb trees a lot. And when one fell on the ground, he saw it and he went, "Aha, gravity!" No, that's the wrong person. Definitely the wrong. <laughs> person. Was, I think you'll find that was Sir Isaac Newton. <laughs> <Correct>. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sir Isaac Newton, no, no, no. I happened to notice Pythagoras. He was well ahead of his time, but he just didn't write it down anywhere. Pythagoras so, might have, might have, might have worked out the trajectory of said thing. Used when he went to the right moon. Right angled triangular. What, Pythagoras went to the moon. When he went to the moon in his space shuttle. Oh, yeah. But he didn't tell anybody. Designed about by it. Michelangelo. See, <laughs> see, now, see what we're doing is what a teenage mutant turtle. You can't, you can't. <laughs> Raphael. Confuse, oh, what? Happening. Raphael Bonaparte. No. Carry on, Only go on, Bonaparte. Right. As he drops the hint in. Now, when Pythagoras. That was shocking. When, when, Pythagoras, shocking. when Pythagoras used to go out in his boat, he used to go out in his boat out in the middle of. Uh, a speedboat or a steamboat? No, no, it was his pedal. Oh, Because yeah, it's yeah. in the Mediterranean, you see. And, and uh, they all have pedalos out there. They go, like, when they go to war, they go in pedalos. 
Um, so anyway, Pythagoras went so out. His really big thighs, like Steve Hoy. <laughs> in sandals, <laughs> sandals in his toga, right? So Pythagoras <laughs> is pedalling out his pedalo, and he comes across to this uh, warship with uh, this fellow with his hand tucked in. Is that Napoleon or is that is that is that That's Napoleon? Nelson? Yeah, no, no. Napoleon Napoleon. had his hand tucked in. Little fella, little fella. Allegedly. Allegedly. That's his face. What? No. Uh, no. He was, good, he, was, he was nice, wasn't he? Napoleon? He, he was mad. He'd stick a heat in you. Would he? <laughs> or or, or your navel. Yes. Or slap you with his other hand. Yes, that's <laughs> right. Anyway, so he met this Napoleon fellow on a boat. Uh, he was in a, in a bigger pedalo. It was like a pedalo with lots of people pedalling on it. Because um, he had like an army. But Pythagoras was on his own because he was just a philosopher and philosophers are always on their own. So anyway, he met, he met Napoleon. Thinking things. Thinking things. And he was out there thinking things and with his sun hat on, his triangular hat, uh, eating his banana. Thinking about triangles. Pedal, thinking about triangles and gravity. Uh, and he also invented the light bulb. Space shuttles. No, the light bulb. Pythagoras invented the light bulb. Oh my God. But he didn't tell anybody about it. Yes. Yes, yeah, so it was with these little, you know, with the little flies that light up at night. What are they called again? Glow flies or glow flies, flies that glow. Flies, flies. <coughs> what are they called Fireflies. Again? That's the ones. So he had one of them in a little bottle jar thing. And he used to and shake it. He used to shake it, it like that, and then he would go. Wake up, you ferrets! <laughs> Wake up! I need to think about triangles. So anyway, and he met, he met, he met Bonaparte. He was uh, pondering about the Mediterranean, looking for somewhere. He was like, <laughs> I need somewhere to conquer. Like that, you see. He's Italian. Was he? Sounded like it. Oh, well, I, th- I, I, th- I thought he was Belgian. I Jamaican there, like Belgian? Belgian? Put Jamaican, Jamaican. Uh, Jamaican. Italian. <laughs> oh, okay, right, so, okay, so. Put the Jamaican. Went, uh, <laughs> all right, dear man, uh, I'm here to conquer, conquer Sicilia. <laughs> Sicilia, I think they called it, uh, where Pythagoras was from. Uh, I thought he was Greek. Is he? That's Pythagoras, S- yeah. Sicilia is a no. Greece, isn't it? It's like Scottish. Pythagoras. It's a good Scottish name. <laughs> He was not from Ember. 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 That's twice Ember's come in here. Uh, no. No. Tang. I'm sure he's Tang. Tang. <laughs> Melvich. <laughs> so, anyway, the two of them met up. All right. Pythagoras. They had a brandy because Napoleon was partial to a brandy. Napoleon brandy. You get the wee. Is that really bad? How, how is anyway. any of this affecting us now in the present? Well, I'm just getting to that. So, when I'm they met on this. Goodness for that. <laughs> well, if you didn't keep interrupting. Ooh, so, uh, we're just trying to understand right. the story. <laughs> Pythagoras got in Napoleon's big pedal, <laughs> and the two of them are sitting there having a wee chat about philosophy and, and triangles and, and triangles and gravity and light bulbs. And um, special. Basically, they wandered into shore uh, next to uh, Morocco because uh, they just went across the Mediterranean. It's only about that big on a map, oh. so it didn't take them long. And uh, they got to Morocco and uh, they invented coffee together. There you go. That's that's how they changed the world. They invented coffee together. So, what, so they got off in Morocco. Got off in Morocco and invented Moroccan coffee. They found beans and went. No, 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 no. Oh, they, grew, they, they, they grew them in their sandals on the pedals. <laughs> it was because it was a special fungus that grew in between their toes as they were pedaling. <laughs> <laughs> what? What was? Lordy John. <laughs> you, you don't know your history. How do you get beans from... Well, I'll explain. It had everything to do... Now, when you're pedalling up, right? Right? <laughs> yes. Right? Then, when you come back down, the gravity forces the fungus into the foot. Now, he had these glow flies and the light bulbs with him. Now, that also aided in the photosynthesis of the beans in the toes. The so by the time they got to Morocco, they had heaps of beans in between their toes, and they went, what can we use these beans for? And Napoleon went, <laughs> I'll have a coffee man. You see? Because he was <laughs> he was Irish. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they brewed up these beans in a... In a, in a in a, thermos. In, in a thermos. In a thermos. Cause, yeah, because Napoleon is well known for inventing the thermos. Oh. Yeah. So that's my history of Napoleon Bonaparte and Pythagoras. I hope you enjoyed it. What happened? You won't find any of that on Wikipedia, let me tell you. Thank <laughs> God for that. Why? <laughs> I'm trying to educate the people. This should be dad of... No, not dad. No, well, wiki dads. <laughs> wiki dads. <laughs> wiki dads. Even better. Wiki dads, the way history should be. There yes. you go. Or how... Fun facts about staff. Yes. Mm. So I hope you enjoyed my little history lesson there. Don't forget to put your correct answers in your history papers in school. Absolutely. Napoleon was a great pal of Pythagorios, who invented gravity light bulbs and coffee. Oh my God. Thanks so much for watching. 
subscribe. Subscribe and likey, likey, and, and watch the no, next video. Likeys are down there. Likey's subscribe down is up there. Watch the next episode over there. <coughs> So, um, thank you for watching. <laughs> <laughs> that was about. <laughs> Good move for now. Bye. Bye bye. Yeah, we don't want to do anything to scare your children. That's the last thing we want to do.